go listen to all my music. It's the codes of self-esteem. It's the codes of who you are. If you're a Kanye West fan, you're not a fan of me, you're a fan of yourself. You will believe in yourself. I'm just the espresso. I'm just a shot in the morning to get you going, to make you believe that you can overcome that situation that you're dealing with all the time. They have you in a box, you can save the world, but you are working on things that are too small. Take a step back, stop worrying about your college, your loans, stop worrying about what job that they got waiting for you in Silicon Valley. MIT, you can save the world. Kids in college, you can save the world. I'll put my life on this interview right now. It's up to y'all. Y'all have the ability to just step back from what you think culture is today. It's not, it's not about any candidate. It's not about red or blue. It's about humanity. Y'all talking about it's 12 years of oxygen left. Talking about we gonna kill the earth. We can't kill the earth. We gonna kill the things that keep us alive on the earth and the earth gonna survive. It's up to y'all, y'all the future. But what y'all working on right now? We are following other people's opinions. We are controlled by the media. And today it all changes. We need to think how to think free. We need to be free thinkers. Then we need to learn how to feel free. People say feel free, but we don't even know how to feel free or think free. Say what you feel positive or negative, grounded in reality. This reality has been forced upon us. It is a choice. Just like when I said slavery is a choice. The reality, we can make our own reality. We can talk about history, but not too long. We need to talk about our now because we can fix and start loving each other now. But the thing is we have the resources on this planet to have a human utopia, to have respect for each other. Mankind, we have that. But we're too concerned about getting the next Hollywood film to Netflix. We have the resources. There's new billionaires every day. You apply the right type of thinkers, like the Elon Musk, the people with the real ideas. Like, politics is dead. It's over with. Politics, like, these kids need some type of real truth. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to influence and I'm just going to be me mm -hmm. to the fullest because it's also with my approach, you know, it's a certain point of a level of like frustration because waiting for everyone to agree may take too long. I'm not going to sit inside of a corporation for 20 years. The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. People in this world shun people for being great, for being a bright color, for standing out. But the time is now to be okay to be the greatest you. Your entire life is a test. And when did you have the most anxiety in grammar school and high school? No question. On test day. Question. So your entire life become this test. I ain't trying to say the right answer. I am just doing what I feel. My mama said trying is failing. There is no ifs woulds, coulds, shoulds, it just is, and we just are, and it is so. It's simple, and this mentality should not be defeated. Yay cannot die, yay cannot be buried. There is nothing, as a matter of fact, no enemy. The enemy is a concept that's out. Before I found Christ and gave my life to God, I would try to lean on my own understanding. And that's a, the universe is like a, a black hole of information. What do you like, mean by your own understanding? Meaning when people ask Einstein said, you're the smartest person, what would you like to know? Einstein's response was, I'd like to understand the mind of God. Meaning God is all knowing and we can only know or see. And for me as a visionary, we can only know or see what God allows us to see and what he feels we're ready to see and understand to, to maximize what our Maslow's hierarchy and need chart is, you know, what sets our dopamines, what sets our serotonins off, what makes us feel good. Basically like, you know, we, we did a good deed and it's like, it was somehow, you know, just doing a beat for a local dope rapper really meant a lot to me when I was 14 years old doing a beat for just anyone famous that had a major record deal was a lot to me at age 19. 
me being able to, you know, put out my own music, and I was a lot to me at age 24, meaning as I grow, God sets new stages in the game of life for me that you get your satisfaction. Like Maslow's hierarchy of need is like our satisfaction chart. What makes us feel whole and accomplished as a human being? So as I go through these different levels, there's times where I would use confidence when I knew what I was doing, and I would use arrogance when I didn't know what I was doing, but I'd rather use arrogance than to let someone diminish my idea of myself because that is what keeps us going. Hope actually keeps us alive. Anybody, you ask most people, it's like, do you want tomorrow to come? And they say, yes, they, they, have, they have hope for it. But I went from having confidence and arrogance to having faith, and faith is the opposite of fear. And that created this fearless approach that I have, and that's what now has made me the fearless leader that I am, that I've like crystallized into the leader that my mom always knew I would be when kids followed me in preschool. The leader that people saw when we changed the sound of music. You know, I like when Jay-Z says, show you how to move in a room full of vultures. Isn't that like, you don't really have to change who you are and start saying, I'm gonna be a snake, I'm gonna be that. You know what I'm saying? Just know you can't let people use you or misuse you. Life is about using people though. Just don't misuse them. I mean, just in life, if you like the type of music and you listen to it all the time, you know, why not follow your heart? Why not follow what makes you happy? I remember when I, I mean, the song American, well, I mean, the movie American Werewolf in Paris came out and it had the theme song, I think it was by Blur. Nothing hurts like your mouth, mouth, mouth. And like me and my friends used to love that song so much. And it was like we weren't supposed to like the song or something because of where we were from. Or we like songs like, uh, So Kiss Me Under the Moonlight Sunlight. Like all these songs are just these incredible melodies from the 80s and from the 90s, a lot of the 90s stuff. And people keep on saying 80s, but they were like, Mr. Jones and me. All these sweeping melodies and Nirvana and shit like that. Like, and I'm like, I really love music and I love to sing these songs and I can make music. So why not just make music? The greatest thing that a man has to give to anyone, whether it's their kids, or whether it's their wife, is time. And how much time do we spend, you know, chasing the American dream or chasing money and materialistic things? And how much time do we actually give to the women and children? And that's what this album, more so than, you know, what type of music, you know, the way I chose to express it, that message, is what people need to leave with the most, I think. There's a balance of family and calling that I specifically have. I have to protect and take care of my family and make sure with the power that God has put in my hand that I do everything that I can as the father to provide the best chance at them being the maximum success that they can be. I think people focus too much on the past and focus too much on regret. Even like when you deal with schools, like you take like the slave idea. My, my point is I've heard of history class. I've never heard of a class that breaks down how you, you know, balance a checkbook or how you control your finances, which uh, my father never taught me that. And I've never heard of a future class. So they keep us so focused on history that we start to believe that it actually repeats itself. And we become overly traditional and we can't advance as a race of beings. We get too caught up in the past and what everyone's saying, what everyone's tweeting. And sometimes you just have to be fearless enough to break the simulation. I refuse to follow those rules that society has set up in the way that they control people with low self-esteem, with improper information, with branding, with marketing. I refuse to follow those rules. It's about truth, 
It's about information. It's about awesomeness. And the only luxury is time. The time you spend with your family. That's the only luxury to this concept. A lot of people say, okay, well, you know, oh, you have to do music. I'm going to keep doing music, but what if people told me I couldn't rap? What would have happened? What if people told me I couldn't perform? I have other goals and other things, and I'm going to use my platform, every platform, to stand up and say, I want to make something. I want to make the next Ralph Lauren. That was the point of the Zayn interview. They say people don't stand up and protect their dreams. People are too scared of getting, you know, spoofed in a way.